as a young child, I was always interested in the military. Uh, I was very interested in aviation and flight and all things military, but really had no idea that I would ultimately become a Marine. Uh, I had been interested in enlisting into the Air Force because of the aviation portion uh, and had a few influences right when I was making that decision, one of which was my, my wife's uncle George, who was, he was a Marine himself. So once I left the Marine Corps, I had always throughout my career had a, had a passion for blown glass as, as an art form. I always appreciated it through, through the consumer side of it. I really didn't understand how it was done, but I had the opportunity to travel all over the world and saw glass in different forms, whether it was stained glass in cathedrals or blown glass, it didn't matter. It always intrigued me. So after I uh, retired from the Marine Corps, I found an opportunity to take a glass blowing class basically for a hobby and I did that with my son Brian and we took the class up in Benton Harbor Michigan about seven years ago now and throughout the course of the next three or four years it became less of a hobby and became more of a passion and then it really at that point it became very enthusiastic about it and it became an obsession frankly it started to occur to us that it might be a great opportunity for us to open a glass blowing studio here in Valparaiso Valparaiso is such a great community in that we have everything. We have uh, great entertainment, we have great restaurants. Uh, all of the parks and the natural areas around here are fantastic. The one thing to me that might be missing was the arts. So it occurred to me that it might be a great opportunity for us to open up a glass blowing studio here in town. About six months ago, we were approached by Professor Stephen Inger and his family. Uh, they were interested in perhaps donating a large public art piece for the new science and biochemistry building. Professor Inger and his wife were fantastic in that they gave us the creative license to come up with the ideas and really the only parameter that Professor Inger gave to us was that he wanted the installation to be around light. Uh, obviously Valparaiso University's motto relates to light. There's a lot of light in and around the campus and really in, in the science and biochemistry building, the science of light was very appropriate. So light transmits very much like you would see in a prism, from high frequency, uh, which is the ultraviolet light, down to the lower frequency, which is infrared, and all of that is translated into color. So the science of light that we came up with with this installation speaks very clearly to the scientific nature of the building itself. But the installation has some covert nods to the religious foundation of the institution. What you will see is overhead you will have three eight-foot unilateral pyramids that are inverted. The one in the center is slightly larger, thus lending the viewer to the idea of perhaps the Trinity. The numbers that we're going to use in the installations relate directly to a passage in the Bible and on each one of the, the inverted pyramids, we're going to have 58 cables hanging with each one having a pendant, and all of those pendants will come together to create the frequency of light, thus bringing together the scientific nature of light as well as subtle nod to the religious aspect of the university itself.